Hey, I saw you buy used games. Yeah, we do. How much would trading in Dark Souls 2 get me? Around two dollars. Can you make it ten dollars? What? Can you give me ten dollars for Dark Souls 2? I'm in a tough spot right now and I could use the extra money. Listen man, two dollars is the best I can do. If you really need ten dollars, consider putting it up on eBay or selling it to a friend. Why wouldn't you give me $10 for it? GameStop sells it for $5. And? $10 is greater than $5. But it's for a good cause. As I said, we just can't take it for $10. But you can probably try selling it somewhere else for that price. I hope your store burns down with you inside. Okay. Thumbs down to positive footwear in this place. Went in today with the wife and asked for a better price on a $200 pair of boots for the missus. The sales assistant said $190. I replied, can you get down to $150? She replied, your wife has champagne taste and you've got beer money. I would like to know who would pay $200 for a pair of boots made in China. And how rude she was to insist I couldn't afford it. I could buy 50 pairs of those boots and have change because I don't spend $200 on Chinese crap. But you wanted it. Hello friends. We are preparing a short video with some bloggers and experts. We need a videographer and editor. We guarantee an interesting experience useful acquaintances, and good content for your business card at the something market. And of course, a gift certificate for a deep relaxation massage. Who is with us? Contact me. Yeah, how about some cold hard cash? Can I have some not safe for works? Sure, but I don't work for free. Why? Cause it's work. I don't think so. Oh. I had them for the first time today for lunch actually. I warmed them up according to the package and added the bruschetta sauce and feta cheese. Because that's what I was told to do by a friend. And it was so delicious. I made lentils for my SO a while back and he didn't like them. But I'm going to have him try these because I think they will change his mind. For my response, let me just open with the fact that I'm going to be extremely critical of what you've just written. It's the truth, and there's no way to get around it. Some things are better to face as directly as possible in order to get them over with. First, you said you warmed it. But how? Try to be more descriptive. If I'm making it for my wife, who I'll note is very particular, I'll need to know exactly how to prepare the food. Second, why even mention the bruschetta or the feta? Am I going to have to purchase other products in order for my wife to enjoy her meal? You need to be more clear. At least you should have expanded on it so I know exactly what I'm going to be preparing. Just a general lack of focus that doesn't sit right for me. Plus, how am I supposed to know whether your friend is either Mario Batali or god forbid some street rat with a coy smile? Now, the responsibility of your recommendation rests on the shoulders of someone who I have no idea what to expect from. Not good. Third, why mention your unsatisfied significant other's opinion if you're trying to get my wife to try it in the first place? It doesn't leave me with any confidence for the product after you haven't had any prior success with it. Am I just supposed to recreate your dinner of ill repute with my wife? Because I can't afford that. Absolutely not. Next time, please do not comment on my post. I'm under a considerable amount of pressure, and you've made me feel even more wretched than normal. Good riddance. Jesus, this is literally a comment saying that they tried the recipe and it was good. Not a professional cookbook. I'm desperate. 
I am in need of a sofa. Got two children. Money is tight as Christmas is around the corner. Single mom. No family to help. Someone, please help. My boss has two two-seater sofas for free there, lovely. In the something area. Could I have a photo, please, hun? I'm looking for one to match my color. It's black, white, silver, and white. I've looked, but people asking for way too much, and with Christmas, I just don't have the money with two children. It's hard to find one. Hashtag fact. I know people who charge less. I have clients who pay more. Need blonde girl to make TikTok videos with me. I make TikTok videos and now I am in need of blonde girl who is gonna be in my videos as actress. I am from Ottawa and travel to all nearby places for shooting for my licks. You can check me out on IG here. This is unpaid work. But once you become famous in my community, you are easily going to get roles in movies. For submissions and inquiry, you can contact me at my phone. Here's my email. No discounts. The prices of the merchandise are as marked. Please do not inquire for a discount. The prices are set. Thank you. These people have seen it way too much. Not gonna lie boys, with deals like this flowing into our inbox like sweet nectar, who even needs YouTube anyway? Animation Project Hi, my name is Bobby Bob. I am the director of an animation project called Super Fun Time Bob. We are looking for animators and are hoping you can help us. We don't have any way to pay you, but if this becomes a thing, you can get paid from the views. Sincerely, me. Would love to get involved in the role. Thanks. Thanks for getting in touch. The posting is suitable for students who are trying to build portfolio but can't get a suitable komoni people. Are you building portfolio? This is more of a favor for a favor basis and is not paid. Therefore, temporary unless friendships are made, of course. What does that mean? Friendships are made. Like cleaning your house? Hi, is the TV still available? It is. It's free, right? Affirmative. Awesome. Can you meet me in this place? No, I don't think I will. Why the picture? Just answering your question. You don't have to be a smart ass. Why not? Bringing it to you will cost me time and money. I can throw it in the trash for free. Or, more likely, someone else will come pick it up. Whatever. <coughs> you. Have a great day. 2005 Nissan Xterra. $4,000. Can you do $3,700? 3K. Cash and carry. Do you want cash in your pocket or float this thing for a few weeks? When and where do you want to meet? Bring it to me. I have to get back to the city somehow. Figure it out. What? I'm willing to sell you my car for far less than what I'm asking and you refuse to negotiate. The least you can do is pick it up. Gotta be at work at 4.30 but can meet you tomorrow morning. As a conference organizer, I continue to be amazed at how many people ask for airfare and hotel accommodations for a 50 minute talk, newbies and professionals alike. Here is some advice from a conference organizer and industry speaker. 1. Don't ask us for travel fees unless you are a keynote. 2. Do thank us for being selected as a speaker. Three. Don't tell us we are cheap because of our travel policy. 4. Do attend as much of the conference as possible. 5. Don't change your talk after being accepted. 6. Do be flexible with your talk description. 7. Don't submit a talk unless you will pay for your travel. 8. Do be willing to work with organizers on your messages. 9.
message. Don't tell us you have a special message. We all do. 10. Do understand when organizers lose patience. It is a privilege to speak at a conference. You should be humbled and honored by it. Check your ego at the door. Never forget, we have other speakers that will pay for the travel, work with organizers, craft their message, share their stories, express their gratitude, and show up. I prefer to work with flexible, grateful, humble people. Anyway, just some advice from an industry speaker and conference organizer. I feel like this isn't how conferences work at all. Hey, what's up guys, Real Life here and thank you so much for watching the video. If you liked it, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you again real soon and have a great day.